Boom. What is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and in today's manga video we have a very 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 special occasion. So today's video will be a massive 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 display of poor financial decision making but I assure you I assure you it was worth it. So, um, today's video will be an unboxing, or rather a massive manga haul. I'm not gonna waste too much time, guys, but we got a lot of series to cover, a lot of boxes to unbox. Let's just get right into it. Let's dive right into it, get straight into the manga haul. Alrighty, folks, so the first box we have, I know, actually, let me adjust that just a little bit for you guys, sorry about that. So the first box we have is going to be, and I know I sinned on this one, I know I sinned on this one, it is going to be a Barnes & Noble uh, shipment. So, uh, obviously I got this box from Barnes & Noble, which means, yeah, I paid retail, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to minimize paying retail at this point because it's freaking expensive, but, anywho, um, I, there was like a discount or something that I wanted to take advantage, so, advantage of, so, that is the reason for me going with Barnes & Noble for this particular box. Alrighty, folks, let's go ahead and check out what we got in here. First volume we have is going to be Happiness by Shuzo Oshimi. Uh, again, I'm not going to be the best with these names, um, so if I do mispronounce something, again, feel free to correct me. Just you know, do so respectfully. Uh, so Happiness. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. Ratings were, you know, they were decent on Mao. Uh, but what really drew this to me is people were comparing this a lot to Tokyo Ghoul, and that the premise is pretty similar, I believe. This is like a vampire girl, and so somewhere along the line, I guess the MC ends up becoming a, like a pseudo vampire type of thing, or just a vampire, or something along the lines of he or she will have to deal with like the duality of being like two different kind of beings, if you will, kind of like in Claymore or in Tokyo Ghoul. Here we go. Show you a couple of pages of the artwork. Go ahead and set that aside for now, but I'm really excited to read that. Oh, oh my goodness! And we are off to a very fun start. <laughs> oh my god, I'm to I'm I'm a total degen. Like I'm not even gonna lie at this point. This is going to be the first manga volume of High School DxD. Um, and I watched the anime, that's why I picked up the manga. But you know, I kind of I don't really want to wait for the next season, so I kind of want to like read ahead. Can't really show you the artwork here. Let's just go ahead and move on. Anyways, next up, we have A Silent Voice, Volume 5. So, um, I actually have not even read Volumes 1 through 4, and I believe the rest of the volumes will be in another box, but this is Volume 5. Show you a couple of the pages. I'm trying not to show too much of the artwork because I don't want to spoil anything, either for myself or for you guys. So. All right, so that is the first box from Barnes & Noble. Unfortunately, I did have a separate or an additional manga volume with it. It was supposed to come with my orange book two volume. Just waiting on that order. So it may, not, may or may not be in this video. If it is, I will put it in. So on to the next box. So we knocked out the Barnes & Noble order. Now we have a very special and unique order from actually the, uh, the subreddit community thingy called Manga Swap. Um, so I'm kind of unsure. This was kind of my first purchase through the manga swap subreddit I hope I didn't get freaking ripped off if I do I'm gonna be submitting some nasty complaints, but um, Let's just open the freaking box. Why am I even talking like you guys are here? You guys aren't here to hear me talk You're here to look at the manga. I don't have a box cutter. So just using some scissors. I swear if I end up cutting the manga Like like I'm done, I'm done. like I'm done. I'm just done. We're quitting the video. We're quitting YouTube and we're quitting everything All right better be like the box is a little little jacked up but you know this better be in nice condition alrighty my amazing peeps we have demon slayer volumes 1 all the way up to 18 uh, now I got this for a kind of a steal I, I thought at least uh, all for about $130 um, and I believe that like retail these are like actually let's check it out retail Oh, oh yeah, retail these are about 10 bucks. So I would have normally paid $180 for all 18 volumes of these, but through Manga Swap, somebody uh, made an offer, 130 bucks for all 18. I swooped right in uh, and you know claimed the claimed the the freaking deal, and it was absolutely amazing. Now everyone was like, not everyone, but somebody told me that a box set was coming out soon, but 
Uh, I just wanted to start off with this just to get myself familiar with um, the manga swap process on the subreddit. Um, so yeah, show you a little bit more artwork. Let's just swoop over to volume 10. I'm not going to show you every single volume. I'm just picking this one because it's the easiest one to grab. Again, hopefully it's not too much spoilers. I literally only showed you three pages and I didn't even read the text. I love the spines on these. These are all looking really like in really good condition. So this was a really good deal IMO. Uh, the only thing that is bothering me is the inconsistency of the Sh uh, Shonen Jump logo. Um, I don't know what that's about. Maybe like this is an older one and that's a newer one or vice versa. Then I don't even know what that one is, but it's inconsistent and I do not like that. That is not okay. Not okay. Anyways, great deal. Let's move on to the next box. All right, so this next one actually is in a box. I completely lied to you. I do apologize for that. Uh, but apparently we actually have um, a little bit of a, a little bag here. I don't know what it is. I kind of forgot. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm such a nerd, guys. Like, I never used to be, like, that nerdy. But in terms of, like, weave and otaku stuff, I'm gonna show you just a second. Just, just prepare yourself, just prepare yourself. But in terms of, like, weave and otaku stuff, I geek out, I geek out, I'm not gonna lie. And now, obviously, you guys know I'm, like, super to bodybuilding, super to fitness. And I kind of like to kind of fuse the two together. And that is the reason I made this purchase right here. This lovely, amazing, godly purchase. Slightly athletic weave. This is literally the embodiment of my existence. Slightly athletic weave. <laughs> I did get this from, I believe, at still nutting. Uh, funny, funny Instagram handle. But at still nutting on Instagram, uh, he posts a lot of like powerlifting memes that are that are like having to do with anime girls and anime characters and stuff like that. It's, it's a really odd but really funny page. So if you guys were interested in getting this, go check it out. Check him out at still nutting on Instagram. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just find his stuff a little bit like pretty funny and kind of relatable. So slightly so relatable. Alrighty, folks. Next up, we have about I, I think uh, three more boxes. Yeah, I just checked three more boxes. As you can see, this is one of three. Now, this last bit of the haul is going to be from RightStuffAnime.com. So their stuff is like. 10% off, 30% off of actual retail. So that's really, 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 really sweet. And if you buy in bulk, then this is the way to go. All right, so I've heard Right Stuff does a stellar job at uh, their packaging and taking care of their shipments. I will be the judge of that. Just gotta be very careful, very careful. I'm gonna be very upset if I accidentally cut my manga, just blame it on right stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not even freaking done. What am I doing? There we go. Sweet. All right, folks. So the first pickup we got is going to be Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Now, this is supposed to be one of the best horror manga of all time. Uh, one of the reasons I decided to pick it up, I keep seeing it in stores, keep hearing you know, people recommend it to me, things like that. Um, and so I believe, from my understanding, this is about a, as it says, a small fog-bound town on the coast of Japan that is somehow cursed with like weird spiral things, from my understanding. And like I guess they start appearing where spirals shouldn't be appearing. And it kind of progresses from there and it starts to take on a very horrific story uh, and artwork and stuff like that. So that's why I picked that up. I will show you. That's a little hard to hold, but let's go ahead and show you a little bit of the artwork. Holy cow. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Just going to show you a few pages here and there. Junji Ito, I believe he's mostly known for horror works. Oh my god. This is going to be Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Super excited to get into reading this. Alrighty folks, next up we have Vinland Saga, books two and three. So as I mentioned in my last Manga Reads video, I read the first book of Vinland Saga. Absolutely fell in love with it. Really great series so far. And you know, I had to pick up the next two books. It was just mandatory. So here we go. I'm gonna show you fronts and backs. Boom, one, I'm only gonna show just a couple pages. Ooh. Need to be careful with these. Need to be very careful. But I really am liking the quality of all these volumes so far. They look and feel really nice. Really nice. Uh, I, I I gotta be honest. Right stuff. You did a good job with the packaging. And I believe that these are quality volumes, at least for these first few pickups. 
Alrighty folks, next up we are going to have volumes four through 12 of Dragon Ball Super. As I mentioned in my last video guys, uh, you know, I wanted to start reading the, the Dragon Ball Super manga because I'm kind of sick of, you know, having to wait for more anime content to come out. As like I said, like the Broly movie, you know, it came out and like that was a couple years ago and now we've been waiting and I need more content. So here we go. I'll show you a little bit of the artwork. Not every single volume, of course, and not every single page. Very nice. I'll show you one more. I won't show you volume 12 because I have not even freaking looked at that yet. That covers stuff that I am completely unfamiliar with. Man, Dragon Ball Z and Super. These are just absolute classics. I mean, I, gr I grew up with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And, you know, everybody loves Goku. Everybody loves Vegeta. Saiyan race, you know, I mean, it makes for really great workout motivation. Uh, and I love the whole, you know, you know, surpassing your limits thing, like the whole idea behind Dragon Ball Super and Z and the regular one. Well, actually the original, I think was just a comedy or spoof, but uh, what Z and Super ultimately grew into was on was a story about, you know, seeing your ceiling, reaching your ceiling and breaking through it, like at least in that one scene from the Super anime. But yeah, guys, that's that. Love Dragon Ball Z and Super. Oh, that's bothering me again. No, you guys see that? Ah, that's so unfortunate. Anyways, I do like these though. They are in great condition. Thank you again, Right Stuff. Let's go on to the next. Next up, we picked up Tokyo Ghoul, volumes 12 through 14. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have nine or 10, but I do have 11. Uh, then I have all the other volumes of the regular Tokyo Ghoul series as well. Um, but I will have to get nine and 10 very soon as I have to read eight. And then obviously I can't read. 12 through 14 until I read 9 and 10. Very nice, very nice. Man, Tokyo Ghoul is just one of those series that you just gotta love. It's just absolutely amazing. It's not without flaws, of course, but I really love the world building in this, the dark themes, the relatable themes as well. And yeah, the beautiful artwork. And Ken Kaneki is just one of my favorite protagonists of all time. Uh, or protagonist. Did I say protagonist? Protagonist, 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 pro... Yeah, yeah, you get the point. Next up, we've got volumes 7 through 9 of Rosario Vampire. So, uh, honestly, don't watch the freaking anime, just don't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this was actually... It turned out to be a pretty good story so far. Um, I, I've only read up to volume 6. And at the start, you know kind of like more of a comedic type you know thing a little light-hearted but I will say I'm, and I'm not trying to spoil anything and this isn't really spoilers per se but things get a little bit more intense things start to evolve uh, and just kind of the layers of complexity of the story start to unravel if you will so uh, I will show you guys some of the artwork now this I can show you guys on camera I can't show you. This high school DXD. Yeah, that's a that's a no no. A big no no. I'm gonna film this entire video and then I'm gonna look back and like realize I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> Anyways, that is that. And we got one more item for this first box. Last in this box we have volumes nine and ten of Black Clover. Um this is strange. I only have volume. Oh, okay, I remember. Uh, yeah, seven and eight should be in another box. So yeah, I have volumes one th and then three through six. Missing two, I still have to pick that up at some point. But here are nine and ten, and then I should get some more to fill in the gaps. Um, so yeah, Black Clover, really great kind of battle shonen type series. Great artwork, uh, very nice pacing in terms of the actual storyline. Very funny characters. And then, of course, we got the, the lovely Miss Vanessa right here. We love Vanessa couple of pages boom and I do not want to show any more in order to avoid spoilers all right so that wraps up the first box from right stuff we got two more to power through guys so please keep watching and please enjoy the rest so as for the verdict on the right stuff like big like big haul shipping so far very good very impressed all the volumes have been coming in very nice condition so far no yellowing minimal like bends on the pages and folds so and like the you know, everything's been looking really nice and really clean. Alrighty folks, so first up we have Your Lion April Volumes 2 and 3. Now I haven't actually started Volume 1, uh, but 
I knew that this is probably a story that I'm going to like because it covers a lot of, from what I've heard, tragedy, sadness, romance, things of that nature. Kind of a sad addict, I'm not going to lie. I do like sad stories, bittersweet stories I do like. And this may or may not be one of them. Let's go ahead and show a couple of pages. Now this, I believe, is kind of a music-related manga, obviously. So it kind of takes us through perhaps a main character who is deeply involved in music. And then a bunch of romance and tragedy probably happens. So, yeah. Excited to read these. Um, but yeah, I gotta read the first volume first. So, if you guys like the series, let me know what your thoughts are without disclosing any spoilers, of course. Alrighty, folks. So, next up, we have got... Comey Can't Communicate, I'm not even showing you the right freaking cover. Comey Can't Communicate, Volumes 1 and 2. Um, so this is kind of like a, I think a slice of life type of story. Um, but from my understanding, this is about a kind of a girl who I believe has a, some kind of disorder, social anxiety disorder, or uh, some, something along those lines where she has a hard, talking, a hard time uh, communicating with other people. Hence, Comey Can't Communicate. And I believe she sets a goal for herself to make like some 100 friends or something along those lines. And I believe this takes us through her story. And perhaps the main character might be a male and we kind of see her through his eyes. Kind of like, I want to eat your pancreas, maybe, maybe not. But I have heard very good things about Comey Can't Communicate. And I'm very excited to get into reading it. And just simply interested in seeing how the story unfolds and maybe a potential romance develops maybe not uh, and maybe this is just a simply heartwarming story that may or may not have to do with romance so uh yeah guys can't wait to start reading this on to the next next up we have to the abandoned sacred beasts uh volumes one through three so um from my understanding the anime has like eh. but i saw this on a dark fantasy recommendation video for manga and it seemed pretty interesting to me. Uh, and I believe this deals with uh, some kind of like demi-humans or something like that, or some kind of like former warriors of a military that had powers to change into like different animals and creatures. Uh, and they were used as kind of tools of war, maybe. Something along those lines. And now that the war is over, uh, they're not a, they're kind of like left out or maybe they might be persecuted or, or something along those lines. I read the synopsis a while ago. Um, I'll have to check back later, but I have heard good things about this and it seemed like a really kind of a good, interesting, dark fantasy type of series. So, and I gotta have, my, oh my goodness, I gotta have my dark fantasy fix. Absolutely love the dark fantasy genre. That is just a beautiful, beautiful back. I really like that. Wow, that is nice. That is a beautiful, okay, beautiful girl, obviously. And then we got this really nice wolf in the backdrop, in the background. Love that. Absolutely love that. All right, can't wait to read this, guys. Okie dokie. So here we have Rosario Vampire, Season 2, Volumes 1 and 2. So obviously I knew I was going to be reading the entire series, so I started to pick up some, uh, uh, some volumes from the second uh, season of the manga. So that's these. I know who this character is. That is all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not a manga only or anything like that, but I'm also not an anime only. But in terms of, you know, comparing the two, Rosario Vampire manga just far triumphs over the anime, in my opinion. If you disagree, then you disagree. No harm, no foul, but I encourage you guys to read the manga instead. Next up we have, let's go ahead and set these bad boys up for you right here. Next up, we have uh, books two through four of the Elfin Lied Omnibuses. So, uh, honestly, I haven't even read the first Elfin Lied Omnibus. Uh, again, this is a Dark Horse publication, by the way. Dark Horse has some really cool titles. Uh, I I've heard I Am a Hero is really great. Uh, Berserk. Berserk I have, of course. Uh, another Dark Horse um, publication. Let's go ahead and show you the backs, of course. And then I'm not going to open this up right now, but from my understanding, this is about kind of a a persecuted species, I think. I, I, I remember reading the synopsis and it sounded really interesting. And from what I heard, it was very, it's a very tragic and sad story. Uh, and I'm kind of a, like I said, I'm kind of a tragedy sad addict when it comes to my uh, manga tastes, my storytelling, story writing tastes. I don't know. I just, I just like it. I like it. I don't know. Maybe that says something about me. Maybe not. So next up, guys, we have the quintessential quintuplets. 
volumes one and three. I believe I have volume two in a separate box. This is going to be a fun kind of quirky rom-com type of series. Harem, of course, because obviously there's the quintuplets and a main guy, a Kodansha publication. Um, ooh, right stuff. Oh, what is this? What is that? You guys see that? Little bit of a tear right there. A little bit of a tear, but overall, guys, you know, all of these, all of these have been really great so far. So, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I've heard good things. Uh, I remember, I think Boogie Snacks, that um, manga tuber, kind of recommended this. And uh, yeah, guys, I do love my rom-com fix. It seemed like an interesting story. I like the, you know, the, the female characters. And I'm excited to read it. Excited to get into reading this. So, front, back, little bit of the artwork. Cannot wait. All right, and so next up we have volumes one and two of Pandora Hearts. Now, I'm not gonna lie guys, I completely forgot what this was about. I read the synopsis, seemed pretty interesting to me, but I cannot for the life of me remember what the heck this is about. Yeah, not even gonna lie there. But I'm excited to read it and find out more. So that is that, Pandora Hearts, on to the next, guys. This is volume number, what the heck? oh, seven, I almost couldn't see it. There's our lovely Vanessa again. We got Magna, Luck, and Captain Yami. Fun, fun characters, so. And that is that. Alrighty, folks, last one of box number two, the second to last box. We have volumes 23 and 24 of Attack on Titan. Very classic. I mean, like, this is a must read or watch if you prefer the anime. Um, if I were to choose between anime or manga for this particular series, probably anime. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I'm getting to the point where, you know, we wrapped up part two, or sorry, we wrapped up part one of season four, and I want more content. I want to read ahead. I don't really want to wait any longer. So I'm kind of just reading through the manga, and then I'm eventually going to catch up. So that is that, guys. Please check out this story in one format or the other. Almost forgot about this one. Picked up My Hero Academia as well. Midnight. What an absolutely lovely character. This is volume number three. Uh, I should have hopefully volume two, I think, in another one of these boxes. Everybody freaking complains about Deku, and I don't know why. I, I, I get that. Well, I do know why. It's because they say he cries too much. But I actually really like Deku. I like him better than Bakugo. I never liked Bakugo. I don't care what you say. Todoroki is obviously cool. I like, I like Deku, and the reason I like him is because in a lot of these shonen type of series, like in Naruto and Dragon Ball and stuff like that, or even Black Clover, the main character is kind of a dimwit. I mean, you know, that's not a bad thing. You know, you don't have to be intelligent to be a likable character. What I like about Deku is he kind of breaks that convention a little bit. He takes notes, he studies a lot. He's smart, I think, in terms of this type of, you know, anime. Uh, and that's just my opinion. And I, I like that he, we see him as an underdog and we see him grow throughout the series. So that's why I like Deku. I just personally never cared for Bakugo. I didn't like his quirk. I didn't like his personality. I think it was probably a necessary personality for the series, but in terms of the character, I don't really care for him. I don't really care for him. That's all I have to say on that. Mount Lady, we do care for him. Anyways, on to the next. Alrighty, folks, last box of this massive manga haul. This is number three out of three. Let's get right into it really quickly. And I'm really, really impressed so far with Right Stuff's shipping quality. Very nice, very nice volumes. Over the, uh, overall, obviously, with that little, there's a little chip, that little scratch, that little tear in the quintessential quintuplets full three. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, you can't expect perfection. But, you know, per it was pretty, pretty, pretty good for the amount of sheer volumes that I ordered. All right, first one of this box, we have Voices of a Distant Star. Now, I believe this is kind of a one-shot, like, one-volume series. If we want to call it, call it a series, it's not really a series. A one-volume story, then, I suppose. From what I heard, this is like a tragic kind of love story? A romantic sci-fi tale about a young love and space adventure. But I read up on it. It said it was sad, tragic, I think. I think? Or maybe emotional, something like that. I don't know. It seemed like an interesting story to me, so wanted to check it out. So, I'll show you... A couple pages, nothing too crazy, but I am eager to read this. That does look like a really cool design right there, so 
uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot soon. All right, next up we have To Love Rue, volumes one through two and volumes three through, uh, three through four. Now, oh no, that is not okay. Look at the comparison. I don't know if you can see very well, but yeah, we got some yellowing on this. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing. Oh well. Anyways, from my understanding, this is kind of a, a rom-com harem type of series. Maybe a little bit etchy, sure, kind of like High School DxD, so I uh, will probably not show you any pictures. I'm not sure if there is or isn't stuff that's not safe for work, but just in case. Anyways, on to the next. Next up we have Rising of the Shield Hero uh, Light Novel, Volumes 2 through 6. Now, admittedly, I'm going to go ahead and let's stay up. Now, admittedly, guys, I actually haven't read the first volume. I mean... Yeah, I just haven't, but I <laughs> haven't gotten around to it, but uh, this is the second volume. Now, I got into this originally from the anime. I, I really enjoyed the anime. It's nothing, like, super special or neat. There's nothing, like, that makes it, you know, that unique, other than maybe a couple of aspects, but I'm not going to say that to avoid spoilers, but uh, it just seemed like an enjoyable story, and I really, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love Rough Talia? I mean, come on, come on, Philo. I mean, they're adorable. Anyways, it seemed like a, a pretty cool, pretty fun read so I wanted to pick it up uh, but the main reason is because I kind of wanted to read ahead uh, and just get some more content and more story material to, to deal with and assess so uh, this will be a fun read for me I am probably going to alternate between reading the ReZero light novels and the Rising the Shield Hero light novels both are isekai genre uh, stories and I also have Overlord Volume 1 of the light novel, but I haven't started that either, so I might alternate, you know, ReZero, Rising the Shield Hero, Overlord, and then kind of repeat that type of cycle. But we'll see, it'll depend on my mood too. So anyways, on to the next. Actually, really quickly, let's show you a little bit of the art. All right, guys, next up we have the rest of the A Silent Voice series. Now, this is, let me put that in the regular order. Not gonna put the other volume with it just yet, just cause, you know, I'm just going over whatever is in this box right now. But A Silent Voice, I heard so many good things about this series. It's kind of a slice of life. And from my understanding, um, it's about these two character characters. And I believe growing up, he was a little bit of a bully to her. From my understanding, I believe she's either deaf or mute or something like that, or she can't speak, or something like that. Oh, a silent voice, she probably can't speak. But, uh, yeah, and he kind of regretted that later down the line in his life, and so he wanted to kind of make amends, kind of, like, cultivate a, a, a more positive relationship with this girl. And so it just sounded like a really interesting story. It sounded like, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of life lessons in here. It probably will be bittersweet at times, and maybe probably pretty, you know, heartwarming at times as well. Maybe heart-wrenching who knows i don't know if this is a tragic story uh maybe it is or maybe it's simply heartwarming and you know we'll all have a happy ending but you know we'll have to wait and see but i'm really really eager to start reading this i, I have a feeling i'm really gonna love this series but you know I'm, let's just show you a couple of the pages and yeah not gonna show you any more well maybe i'll show you just a little bit more in volume two And maybe I'll just show you the rest. Really, really, really beautiful. I don't know if this is shoujo or a shonen kind of slice of life thing. Either way, though, you know, if a story's good, then a story's good. Like, don't limit yourself, guys, by whatever genre it is or whatever the target audience might may be. You know, who cares? Just enjoy. 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 Last one. I'm going to try to like show less and less pages <laughs> as we get into the more final series or more final volumes in the event that, you know, a spoiler may be revealed. Alrighty guys, and then we have the other My Hero Academia Volume 2. And so I have Volume 1 already and then I showed you guys Volume 3 earlier. So there's All Might. All Might's probably my favorite character in MHA. Uh, yeah, Deku, or sorry, Deku, Bakugo, Deku, Bakugo. Uh, I actually call him Midoriya more often than I call him Deku. I prefer the name Midoriya over Deku. Let me know your thoughts on this series. I love the anime in my top five, probably. And that is that. Alrighty, folks. And our last series of the haul is going to be Battle Angel Alita. Wow, this is a deluxe edition. Oh, 
little bit of dust on there, but it's not a big deal. Anyways, I actually originally got into this from the movie. I like, I, I like, I thought the movie was decent, like, but it was a little bit unsatisfying in certain respects. So I wanted to kind of go to the actual manga, what it was, which I believe it was based off of. I assume it's the same title. Um, and I wanted to continue the story from there and see what the original source material was all about and see how the story progresses and or ends or ended. I don't I don't recall if this was if this is still ongoing or not, but anyways, this is kind of about this uh, android-like female character. I don't remember everything about it, but it seemed really interesting and it explored themes of like poverty and, you know, social inequality, class conflicts. You know, it just seemed like a really interesting story and I already liked the movie to a certain extent. It's not like my favorite movie of all time, but I enjoyed the story nevertheless. And so if I enjoyed the movie adaptation, which was probably not as good as the manga, then I'm probably going to love the actual source material, aka the manga. So that is Battle Angel Alita. I will let you guys know my thoughts on this series as soon as I start reading this. Let me know your thoughts as well. Alrighty, folks, and here is the massive, massive mountain of manga that we got for this month's manga haul. So not every month will be a manga haul like this. I recently had my birthday, so I wanted to use some of my birthday money to get myself some, well, maybe this might be more than some, manga. But anyways, guys, this is it. I really hope you did enjoy watching this video. Uh, it was a very enjoyable video for me to make. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video with my monthly manga reads, first, you know, introductory episode, if you want to call it that. And yeah, I'm just super excited to get into reading all these variety of series, um, anywhere from a, a Silent Voice to the Happiness Story to Elfin Lie to Demon Slayer, Uzumaki, Valen Saga, Quintessential Quintuplets, more Attack on Titan, Call Me, Can't Communicate, Tokyo Ghoul, and so, so much more. So please, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.